The DRDO and Indian Navy team successfully demonstrated transferring of command and control capabilities of the TAPIS medium altitude long endurance UAV from a distant ground station to onboard INS Shubhadra. The UAV was seamlessly flying around an altitude of 20,000 feet, and the ship controlled UAV operations for 40 minutes during its 3.3 hours flight duration, and after the trial, the TAPIS landed back at the aeronautical test range. India's public sector companies are exploring the development of a low-cost expendable air launch decoy, that will mimic the flight profiles and signatures of Indian Air Force fighter jets within enemy airspace. The DRDO labs will spearhead this program, and the focus will be on developing a subsonic unmanned system that will fly pre-programmed missions to overwhelm enemy integrated air defense systems, forcing them to engage the decoys first due to their proximity, that will reveal location of enemies' air defense systems, and will enhance the survivability and effectiveness of manned fighter jets during combat operations. We had reported yesterday, that the transfer of technology for the F-414 engine to India will be around 80%, and about the areas that will be covered under the transfer of technology, but media reports indicate that while Hindustan Aeronautics will manufacture the engines, but General Electric will retain the intellectual property rights, and each engine produced by HAL will require pre-approval from General Electric. India is prohibited from making unauthorized modifications to the engine, but there is a scope for collaboration to carry out further engine advancements, that align with India's specific requirements. During Prime Minister Modi's state visit to Egypt from 24 June, India is all set to push for the sale of Akash new generation air defense system and smart anti-airfield weapon to Egypt and India has offered technology transfer for the local assembly of the missile systems in Egypt. The Egyptian Ministry of Defense Production has also sought the transfer of technology for the 500 km range Prale short-range tactical ballistic missile, that will allow local production rights to Egypt. Hindustan Aeronautics has been engaging in discussions with several private sector companies to form a new consortium to contribute to the 13-ton Indian multi-role helicopter, by assuming responsibility for production sales maintenance repair and future upgrades, while HAL will maintain a minority stake. There is a potential demand for 400 units, and officials have said that a formal announcement regarding the new consortium is expected by the end of 2024, and the production by the new consortium will start in 2028. Cochin Shipyard has secured a 580 crore rupees order for six new generation diesel electric general cargo vessels from a Norwegian company, with an option for eight more such vessels in the future, that highlights the company's growing reputation on an international scale. The first vessel would be delivered by December 2024, and the remaining vessels would be delivered by March 2026.